Hey, thank you so much for coming today. We're super excited to be talking about Dominica. So just a little intro to who you're talking with. So I'm Ashley from Traverse Journeys, and we have with us today, Laura, who is our host at um, Jungle Bay in Dominica. So we're super excited to walk you through this really exciting destination. Just a little background. If you're not familiar with Traverse Journeys, we do small group trips in about 25 places around the world. Um, we're very human focused uh, travels. So you get to experience people with lots of activities and uh, person to person connection. It's really all about that human centered experience and very much about the, the planet in terms of like leaving no trace on our adventure activities, like reducing plastic waste and our carbon footprint. And of course, very much appreciating and protecting the land that we visit. And then purpose, we really believe in meaningful travel and in cultural exchange and like leaving a place better than you found it. And like travel is very transformative. And so that's a very big part of our trips. And so that you come home as like, a new person, something different, something changed in you, while also having a really positive impact on the community that you visited. So without further ado, we are going to talk about Dominica. And Laura here is going to give us a little overview. Laura, do you want to start out for us? Perfect. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. So yes, uh, my name is Laura, and I'm currently the general manager at Jungle Bay and I'll tell you a little story. 18 years ago, I came to this little island. No one really had heard of it back then. And there's still a lot of people who don't know Dominica, but um, it, often getting mixed up with the Dominican Republic, you see the orange star on the screen. It's a small island um, in the Eastern Caribbean. And as you can see on the screen, it's pronounced Dominica. So this is really a special place. It's um, even though it's in the Caribbean where you might first think sun and sand and sea, there's actually a very different um, experience here. We do have some um, sand and sea, but we're going to tell you a lot more today about the experience you can have. Um, we love working with Traverse Journeys because the groups um, you all bring to us are, are just a perfect fit for this magical island that we're on. Um, so as you can see here, there's um, some green spots on the map. So those are our national parks and reserves where we have a lot of um, rainforest activities, but even beyond those green um, indicated areas. The entire island, our owner and uh, the founder of Jungle Bay where um, you would stay, his name is Sam. And he, he actually explains it really well. He says, I feel like the island is one giant spa. So this map won't show it as well, but when we get into the photos, you'll see it's just like a really healing place. So the capital's Rozo, um, you know, all the logistical things, it's not a very big population. Um, so there's a lot of expansive areas where you get to spend time in nature and it's not crowded at all. Um, we do use the Eastern Caribbean dollar here. However, uh, if you were to come, you can use um, your US currency or, or euros if you're coming from Europe. And on the top right where it says Melville Hall Airport, um, it's now renamed to Douglas Charles. So that's where you would fly into. And we'd bring you down the middle of the island, across south of Roseau, you see a little a uh, dot on the lower left called Soufrier, and that's where Jungle Bay is located. So um, they always say it's like one river for every day of the year, which means lots of waterfalls. In fact, I was soaking in one yesterday that you'd probably get a chance to experience when you're here. The water is so healing. The waterfalls are really healing. Uh, we're surrounded outside my window right now. I'm like, I'm looking at two different volcanic areas. Um, and it's just like this magical healing place. So you get to experience activity, but also blended with um, some quiet, like reflective time as well. And, and we'll, you know, you'll hear more from Ashley on, on that side too with the itinerary. 
But the reason this place works so well for, for trips like Traverse Journeys is because of the forest coverage, the undeveloped nature of it, and um, the fact that a lot of people haven't heard of it. So you would get to be the first in your group of friends to say, I went to Dominica, you should check it out. It's a really amazing place. So um, yeah, so lots of protected area. We were really passionate about that too. And we do have one interesting part on the on the north part of the island, we have something very special. It's one of the last remaining indigenous communities in the Caribbean that's actually a dedicated um, area that they live because a lot of the other um, islands of the Caribbean, there are no longer indigenous people living in, um, in a dedicated um, region. You know, they may still be, um, living on their own, but we have a special place for the Kalanago peoples. Um, we also have a history of the French and the British. Um, there's different uh, sites along the way across the bay from Jungle Bay. There's actually um, some different cannons you can walk up to on our morning hikes and, and learn a little bit about the history. Uh, but right now it's an independent nation. As you can see at the bottom of the slide there, um, 1978 Dominica gained its independence. Um, so yeah, but let's get into what it would really be like if you were to come here. The activities are so magical. Like I said, I came for two weeks, um, 18 years ago, and I've just fell in love with the island. So I haven't um, left Jungle Bay. I've, uh, I mean, I've left for visits and things, but I've been committed to this, this place because it was this hidden gem that nobody had heard about. Um, we are dedicated to ecotourism and making sure that, you know, um, the island is kept pristine. And for that reason, you get all this amazing organic food, the, the host communities just love having visitors and, and they are really authentic and invite you into their you know, communities in that kind of way. Um, so this, I don't know if anyone recognized that picture, but it's actually the flower of a banana um, tree. And so we have a banana plantation on our property here at Jungle Bay. We have a whole banana farm you can check out. Hot springs, like I said, it's like one giant spa, the whole island, the waterfalls, the we have 75 tropical fruits right at Jungle Bay growing and imagine the whole island has more as well. So from underwater where we have volcanic bubbles you can swim through, it's a really interesting um, phenomena with the volcanic fumaroles to the top of the island where you have hikes and things. There, there's just no other place like it in the world and, and it really makes for an interesting trip. So let's see what else. Okay, the middle of that picture, um, we've got all kinds of hikes and things that, just to give you a sample of the things you would do in Dominica through um, your Traverse Journeys trip. And um, here's a wonderful host with all the fruits and vegetables. So every day that's almost what your breakfast buffet looks like, you know? Today, every day, there's different fruits and, and things like that. Um, so you'll feel like you're right at home and you'll get to try all sorts of new um, experiences, whether it's food or an adventure and pushing yourself a little bit, not too much, um, to experience the different things um, that we have to offer here. Because of like the Kalanago people I told you um, on the north of the island, but then there's also the Creole culture, the bottom left and the, 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 the wear, the clothing they wear. It's really quite special to, to be here and, and see some of these um, different ways of life in Dominica. And um, really, being, being part of it, like you'll notice every person that the photos are showing that Ashley's put up there as someone smiling, right? So the cultural values here are really about being a good host to invite you all to come and visit. And they really wanna share um, this magical place with you all. So um, we welcome you to come and check it out. And, um, you know, depending on which Traverse Journey trip you do come for, there are different activities. I know we're going to talk about the one next year um, in the spring, but um, different times of the year, we have different festivals as well that you can experience. 
The food is so amazing. It's avocado season right now. We have giant avocados this big growing on the trees. They're a lot bigger than your half avocados in your grocery store. Uh, the fresh fish is right from down the way. Um, they, they catch it and bring it in daily. There's bananas, there's plantains, there's all these things you get to taste. And people didn't know how cinnamon grows or nutmeg or um, pineapples actually grow from the ground. Some people thought they were you know, in trees and things like that. So you really get to experience all these things, taste. It's a real experience for the senses, whether it's the aromatherapy and the tea experience or the food you taste in the restaurant or some tour guide on the trail showing you an herb that, that grows its medicinal. You're really going to have this incredible experience. And yes, as, a, as a, the images show, the seafood is literally from right um, outside my window, I can see the fishing boats uh, from here and the fisher folks bring in um, all sorts of delicious food. Um, but if you're vegan, you know, we also have that as well. If you're not into the seafood, um, we have an amazing array of different options at the restaurant. Um, so that's one of the highlights you get during these tours. So okay. Ashley, yeah. I'm going to pass it back to you. <laughs> No, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Laura. It's awesome to hear a little bit about the island and what the experience is like from a nature perspective and all of those different activities that you saw pictures of. There's so many opportunities to do on the island. And like, as we said, in the, in that, as I said in the beginning, like planet is a really big piece of our trips. And the fact that that so much grows on the island, that's actually really rare for a lot of islands to be so self-sustaining. And so that's really uh, impressive and incredible that so much is grown and consumed and is organically taken care of and permaculture is used. So that's a really big plus. And also, as Laura said, um, we can very much accommodate vegan or vegetarian diets, gluten-free, any kind of dietary restrictions. You just let us know and we'll accommodate that. So we're going to turn a little bit to kind of the what a Traverse experience is like, and then show you a little bit more about like the experience at um, Jungle Bay that we have. So we love to support local. So we stay in boutique, eco-friendly, locally run accommodations. It's really important to us that the money stays in the local economy. Um, our trips don't include uh, international flights, but they include your in-country transit. So we give you instructions on like when to arrive and whatnot. So it starts when you hit the ground in country and we pick you up. And then we have local guides throughout. Every trip is a little different in how it's formed. If you have the same guide for the whole eight or 10 days, or if you have like certain activity guides, like a hiking guide, for example. And we love immersive cultural experiences, like learning about the local culture is super important to us and then having fun with it. Like Laura said, like doing like a tea ceremony or an herb making class or going out foraging. And there's so many different kinds of experiences, dance. So that's a really great way to experience a culture. We always include breakfast as well as a welcome dinner and a farewell dinner. In the case of a, a lot of our retreats, like at Jungle Bay, we include all your meals, so we make it super easy for you. Um, and then we have a community partner, which we'll talk about in a little bit. This is a nonprofit or NGO that we get to go have an experience with, learn what they're doing, like buy in for their community, and then a percentage of sales goes to that uh, community partner. And we keep our trips small groups. So like 10 to 16 maximum, we want it to be like a really immersive experience and an intimate experience to get to know people. It's super fun. A lot of times traverse travelers will like connect and then they'll travel again together. So I love seeing that. It's a really, really fun way, even if you're traveling solo to meet other like-minded travelers. So we'll get into kind of what this um, retreat involves. So we, our next one is in April. We do them once or twice per year. And there's also opportunities like if you wanted to go alone or with a travel buddy, we can do some customized dates for you. So what um, our retreat includes is like five nights at the Eco Lodge. You can add on time if you want. As I mentioned, um, transportation, like airport transfers and different activities, daily yoga classes. We have lots of different um, activities in this particular itinerary, including botanical gardens, waterfall hikes, snorkeling. We'll go to a, a few different villages. Laura will tell you a little bit more about these. Um, medicinal herb and tea experience, a cooking class, Caribbean food, 
So, and then, and then your meals. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. This is just kind of another slide, very similar, but like if you do it as a self-guided, meaning that you won't have a yoga instructor there with you the whole time, but you'll be able to do yoga classes as you wish. And then you get pretty much all the same inclusions that we just talked about. So, um, so Laura, I'm going to pass it over to you to talk a little bit more deeply about um, some of the inclusions. For example, these beautiful accommodations. Yes, super. So, and you see the villas are really immersed right in the, the nature and our name is Jungle Bay. So really you don't see the bay in this picture, but these big windows are facing um, out to either Garden View or or the sea view and surrounded by all sorts of edible plants. So often we're called the edible resort because we have um, herbs and fruits right outside your window. We've got hummingbirds and really comfortable accommodation with bamboo, you know, natural furnitures designed um, by the local artisans. And, and so you have a real um, authentic Dominique experience. Here's the inside so you can see what she's talking about. Yeah, you get these really cool like spa bathrooms with your semi-outdoor shower. And um, like I said, uh, the furnishings are really special. So um, when you're in your room, which isn't a lot because we have a lot of activities for you, but we do want you to enjoy some downtime as well. There's some a really nice patio furniture and you can stargaze in the evenings. And we have like a really amazing um, stargazing at night too. So, so from the daytime to the evening, you're gonna um, really find this as up up level more than a lot of yoga retreat places, but it's still um, a really good um, package budget for you. So uh, we try to make sure you're comfortable and um, have a great time. When she did say eco lodge, some people think, oh, am I not gonna have hot water or electricity? Trust me, you have fluffy sheets and towels that rather, and um, you still get your hot water and you get your comforts, but you can feel good that this place was built using local materials. Like, like Ashley said, the money stays locally and we um, do it as eco-friendly and sustainable as we can. So we went have a lot, a lot of awards for that kind of thing. So here's your studio. We're gonna spend some time doing yoga with your amazing Traverse Journeys leader. Or like Ashley said, if you don't go with the group, we also have myself and then see our yoga teachers here um, for our other guests as well. So really magical place to experience. And then with our community giving back, we, we love working with Traverse Journeys because they have a similar ethos to us, which is, you know, you want to make sure we're taking care of the local community members and we do a lot with them. So um, a portion of your trip is going back to the community, which really helps them, you know, feel extra gifted that you're visiting. Um, so at the moment, the funds are going to build a primary school um, down the hill from Jungle Bay um, that was destroyed by a hurricane uh, a few years ago. So right now the kids are basically in a basement with nowhere to go to school. So we're helping um, rebuild their school and you get to go down there and um, check it out and meet these really amazing kids. And sometimes we even do a few yoga poses with them. So yeah. And so there's some really amazing nearby attractions that we get to take advantage of. The lower left picture, you might not be able to see that, but that's the tea experience. That's hands down like one of people's favorite experiences is you get to make your own tea blend and taste some of those magical herb mixtures right that grow right outside um, your villas at Jungle Bay um, with um, our herbalists that live here and then um, like I was saying about the bubbles that come up from under the sea and um, the pristine um, marine reserve that you get to swim in and snorkel and experience so yeah really um, those are those bubbles I told you about and at botanical gardens we have some uh, really beautiful stunning um, botanicals here and um, lots to to see and smell and and look at while you really get immersed in the grounds and then a little further away a short drive away from jungle bay we have sites like trafalgar falls and Tito gorge so that twin fall on the right hand side one of those is a hot water like 
um, waterfall. It's like really rare phenomena. So one is hot and one is cold. I was there yesterday. You get to soak in the pools below and it's just so healing on the skin and your whole body just feels transformed after that. <laughs> um, and invigorating with the canyons, you can jump in and um, go to T2 Gorge, which was also in the Pirates of the Caribbean, one of the films. Um, so there's some adventure there and um, a mix of pushing yourself, like I said, to, to try some new things, but also um, giving yourself some quiet time. There's Chef Joanne on the left. She's picking some papaya off one of our trees. And the middle picture is some nutmeg that grows here. Um, so yeah, you can check out all the cooking um, recipes and things like that. And so so when to go is when um, your, your next trip with Traverse Journeys, I would recommend that is a really great time of the year to come. Um, we'll, re we'll provide our packing list and they'll mix it in with other tips from Traverse Journeys. So we partner well to, to give them the ideas and then they'll communicate everything with you. Um, you will have most everything paid for, like Ashley said, but if you did wanna buy some things along the way, um, you can bring small denominations of US currency, or you can um, exchange when you get here, either at the Jungle Bay front desk where there's some ATMs on the island. And if you choose, you can tip at the very end and we do um, pool of tips if um, you wish to do that. Safety, it's one of the safest places around, like, um, we said at the beginning, not many people have heard about Dominica. It's a quiet, kind of chill little Caribbean place. So you can feel good about coming here and um, knowing that you're in a safe place, especially with the group and you'll have some like-minded people to experience it with. And getting around, we have our whole fleet of vehicles at, at Jungle Bay that Traverse Journeys has um, helped design the itinerary with. So um, all brand new buses and, you know, air conditioned, very comfortable in the heat um, here, but you'll you'll have a wonderful experience. So um, Ashley, is there anything else you wanted me to touch on on that tips page? Yeah, no, that's really great. Thank you for that. Um, we will also, if you sign up for the trip, we send you a very comprehensive welcome pack. And so that has like additional information on say immunizations and like when to book your airfare, how to get there, that kind of thing. Laura, I'll have you give some airfare tips here in just a minute. Uh, okay. But we give you lots of specifics. So um, that is something that we'll get to. So in terms of like getting to Dominica, that's something that comes up. We, people have questions. Primarily, um, uh, those of you that are on the call, let us know if it's anything different. But we have mostly people coming from North America. So from like the United States or Canada, sometimes Mexico. But if you're coming from Europe, let us know. We can give you specific tips. But Laura, do you want to talk about these routes that are common to get there? Absolutely. Um, one of the best resources is American Airlines AA.com, and they have a um, airline partnership with Silver Airways, which is doing the San Juan to Dominica portion. Um, so you can either come via San Juan, Miami, um, and then also, I actually use a website called kayak.com, and they help me, like, depending what city from you are, you're coming from, you can um get some help on this bottom list of flights right from different cities and if in doubt you can always reach out to us at jungle bay and we're pretty used to you know finding what what city you're from and we can help you find um your way here too so um or ashley can connect you to to me and and any of your questions just send them to her and i'll help answer them for you um, but yeah generally speaking um be a little patient Oh, it looks like Laura popped out, but I think she was going to say, be a little patient when you're booking your airfare, just because sometimes it can be a little tricky to find exactly the right route, but we can help you out. You can also always come like a day early if you needed to, if it made for a better airfare experience. So, all right, I'm going to go to the next slide. So we have our next trip in April, 2024. So super excited about that uh, retreat. Um, we're offering $200 off if you book by the 15th. You can use this code Dominica Live. 
And of course, you can always choose your own dates to travel. So um, here are the two different links. If you go to the Dominica retreat or the self-guided tour, um, and then you can also check out uh, Facebook and Instagram for some pictures of all of our trips. And then we have more events coming up. So if you're interested in Morocco or Portugal, those two are coming up. Be on the lookout for more. We've got lots more um, live events coming up. And then any questions? Does anyone have questions? You can type them into the chat. Sometimes we get questions about like how much money should I budget, for example. Um, you know, as far as the tipping goes, like we have we have some recommendations in our uh, welcome pack. It's typically between like fifty to hundred dollars per person for kind of your stay for the pooled tips. It can vary. Um, you know, if you want to tip, if you end up doing some extra activities, like ten percent is a very like standard amount in terms of like budgeting what you might want to do. Um, let's see here. Uh, Elizabeth, you're asking about the price points. Um, so it depends on, can you type and let me know, would you be coming alone or would you be coming like doing a self-guided or would you be coming with a, like with a friend? Alone, I'm sorry, I should have asked you, would you be coming on the retreat, like the April dates or would you be coming like as a solo? Solo. Yeah, so if you go to, I'm just pulling it up now and then I can share my screen too. So if you go to our self-guided page, let me just um, actually change this so that you can see it. One second. I'm going to go here. Okay, so if you go to our self-guided page here, you can see we have Dominica and then you can click on Dominica. So you can travel, you can submit the form so it starts at 1995. We have a minimum for two packs generally, but we actually can make it work out um, for like one person solo. It would just cost you a little bit more. So this is like the starting price. And you can hit book now to reserve your spot. Any trips are $250 deposit. And then you can put your preferred dates in. And then from there, we'll work it out. So we'll get it so that it's the dates that work for you. If you want to do any additions or stay any extra days, and we can customize it from there. So we would love to have you. Um, any, any more questions? You can also, um, if Elizabeth, if you want to talk, you can unmute mute yourself and ask. All right. Um, well, I think that uh, that probably answers it all. So thank you so much for coming today. We hope this was really helpful. Hope that you can make it to, um, to Dominica sometime and feel free and reach out with any questions you might have. Thanks so much. See you in April. Thanks. Bye. Oh, Lori, you're back. Sorry. I'm going to say goodbye to you as well. Thank you so right. much, Lori. You disappeared for a little while, but you're back. Thanks so much for uh, filling us in on all things Dominica, and we hope to see you guys there. Great. Thanks. Thank Bye you. Bye, everyone. Bye.